we're going to have a couple of cards selected. It's important that they are not together in the deck. So, for example, you would just say, take any card you like from your hand. That's quite near the top. Okay. okay. Then put that into here. So remember your card, but also remember that it wasn't near the bottom because your one will be near the bottom anyway. You like. I'll take this one. This one, okay. Yeah. And to just show that and put that here. And you again, you can clearly see that it's somewhere about 10 or 12 cards away from his. If I were to cut, they still remain separated by 10 or 12 cards, but now you kind of lose track of where they are. And if I were to shuffle these, they could now be literally anywhere in the deck. They could be right next to each other. They could still be far apart. But we don't actually know where they are. That's the thing I want us to admit. We don't know where they are. But we have latent information, subconscious information in our brain that I want to tap into. So for example, if I were to run through and you were to say stop. Stop. There's one. And again for you. Uh, stop. Stop. There's two. Another one. Stop. Three. And one more. Stop. And we need a poker hand, so one more. Stop. So that's five cards. Uh, it's a little unfair in that he sort of picked two and you only you only picked two and you picked three. But you do have information, both of you now. And that information is in these five cards. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, despite the odds being completely against it, the chances are great that these five cards hold the two cards that you're thinking of. So let's just find out. Is your card there? Uh, yes. Is your card there? No. It's not? No. You picked three cards, he picked two. Hmm. And you didn't find your card? Okay, subconscious information is usually buried deep inside the brain. That may be the problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't feel bad. Uh, I chose you. <laughs> We're just going to do this with you. It's much better with two cards, but we can do it with you. Your card is here. I don't know which one it is. Correct. Would it be amazing if I could make your card turn face down? Yeah, pretty amazing. Like that. I'll square everything. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> pretty sure it's face down. Not so amazing. Though. Yeah, you don't want to bet against that, do you? <laughs> All right, I, I turned everything face down in one go, but would it be amazing if I could turn your card face up individually on its own? Would that be amazing? Yeah. Okay, it's only one in five, but let's see. There's one, <laughs> two, three, Not so four, amazing. five. Yeah, but I did turn them over <laughs> individually, one at a time, and... Uh, you know, wouldn't this be fun if your card was involved in some way? Way more fun. Yeah, I, I thought so too. But I still don't know which one of these is your card. So let's see what happens. I'm going to touch the deck. These cards are all face down. And your card has now turned face down. Right there. Right in the middle of all these <laughs> other cards. Now, if I'm right, that would be the Eight of Spades face down. It's clearly not one of these, Correct. is it? It's clearly not one of these. It was the Eight of Spades. Yeah, pretty good. Don't you wish you could have taken part in that? Would have been so good. What was your card? Ten of Hearts. Of course, a little bit of magic. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, 